Hello people the web and YouTube TV here. Welcome back to another Acton tutorial video. Whoa. So okay guys, today's tutorial is gonna be really cool and it's something I've been really wanting to do for a really long time. It's kinda like the Veracrypt of Linux. Today I'm gonna be, well, teaching you how to encrypt and decrypt a file using nothing more than, well, the terminal. Now, with that said, sometimes Linux does not come with this tool, so be aware that in my case didn't come with this tool at all when I installed Kali Linux on my virtual box, so down below in the description I will try to leave the repository list as to that you can add it to your own um, machine so that you can get this program. Basically, this program we're going to be using today is called CCrypt, or well, CCrypt. I don't really know how you pronounce it, but essentially what it does is that it, um, uses ash5 some it uses some kind of algorithm to well encrypt and decrypt your file using a password now to be honest i tested this out with simple text and i tried to open the text file up in another editor once i encrypted it and there is no way anyone will be able to decrypt it unless they know what the algorithm was that was used to well make it and with that said how about we decrypt this file that i got here that i made on my desktop that I don't want anybody else beside me to see. Now to do this, you just gotta type in CCRYPT, and hopefully I spelled that right, but let me just check. And if you got the add-on installed, this is what you should see pop up, but if you don't, like I said, down below is the list to the repository files too well get this file within the terminal itself, but I probably will make another tutorial in the future on how to download this tool from online later, but for now, let's just actually use this tool and bleh, sorry if I can't talk, but yeah, anyway, to use this tool, it's fairly easy. All you gotta do is type in ccrypt and then just drag your file into, well, encrypt it and then hit enter and it should ask you to enter a key in and in my case i'm just gonna call it key but in your case i'd really recommend using a really long password just in case somebody ever figured it out and they ask you for a key that way they won't have the patience to well type it in but yeah, anyway, we'll ask you to type the key in again, so just do that. And as you can see, if everything worked out okay, it will change your file name's extension to .cpt. But be aware, if you do not want just one encryption, you can actually re-encrypt this file again just by dragging it in to, well, the terminal again and then entering in another password and this password is i'm gonna call it key one and as you can see now we have a double encrypted and you might be asking yourself why would you ever want to do that well the reason why is just because you can pretty much you don't really have to just encrypting the file one time is good enough but if you're extra like really want to keep the thing secure double encrypt it then hide the file essentially or use two different passcodes but yeah, with that said, to well decrypt our file, it's not as easy as throwing it back in the terminal. As you just saw, because if you were to drag the file back into the terminal, it will ask you to then encrypt it again, and we don't want that. In our case now, to well unencrypt the file, all I'm just going to do is copy the original thing that we wrote, to well encrypt the file, and you just want to really add in a dash D for well decrypt. And when you do that, it will ask you for your key, and in my case, my key is called key1, and it should only ask you for it once. And as you can see, I already decrypted my file, but the file is still encrypted, and if I were to reopen this up again, and uh, change it to, or just run it again actually, I don't even think you have to change the file name after you decrypt it once, it will ask you for your other key, and in this case, it's just key. And as you can see, my file is now completely unencrypted, and I can again open it. Now, you might be asking yourself here, how long does it take to, well, encrypt a file using CCrypt? Because some encryption programs out there take a really long time, like Faircrypt. And in my usage of this tool, I managed to encrypt about 2 gigabytes worth of data and then successfully unencrypt it in order in not in order in about um maybe two minutes it was a fair amount of time to keep in mind but it wasn't too unbearably long and i gotta say if i had to choose between veracrypt and this tool this one almost wins and it's really weird considering veracrypt probably has more 
features to it such as having a double passcode so that when entered somebody only gets that one file and not the other file. Which I'll do a video on Veracrypt in another time for sure. But for now, if you don't want to get into really tricky file encrypting programs, use CCCrypt. It's fairly simple to use and with a little bit of bash scripting, you can well automate this so that all you have to do is double click a file, enter your password, and well decrypt the file you want to decrypt in like 5 seconds pretty much. But yeah, with that all said and done, I'm going to leave today's video off here, but before I do so, I'm actually going to type in the help just to show you the options here. Because there's a lot more um, options to this tool that I haven't showed you. I only showed you just the bare bones minimum of how to use the tool. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of options here. And I gotta say, I will probably make more videos on the other options in another day and time or whatever. But yeah, anyway, that's basically all you really need to know about how to use um, CC Crypt. But... Yeah, if you wish to see any more um, file encryptors, there are like a ton of them on Linux, so let me know and I will show off other kinds of code, as well as other ways to encrypt files also on Windows itself. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave this off here. Let me know if you want a different theme at all. I'm trying to make the fonts really big, just like Tracer's booty here, so that you guys can see what I'm doing. But yeah, if you want your own theme displayed here on the channel in a tutorial video, just send me the theme and I'll gladly have that theme installed as long as it's able to be read for the next tutorial video. But yeah, with all that said and done, like I said, I'm going to leave this video off here anyway. I hope you all enjoyed DTPK signing off. Peace. And to add other stuff to the tutorial, to the to the terminal, not tutorial. God, I don't know what I'm saying. Dude, do you know how crazy it is to have a working time machine? Whatever.